There's a new iOS app that could be very helpful to you if you're a programmer or learning to program, and that's called the Dash, Dash API Docs by a developer named Bogdan Popescu. Now, he previously released a Mac app also by the name of Dash, and what Dash does is it's really a resource because it basically allows you to tap into all the programming language libraries and download them and have them and, and and you know there was a dash app in the mac app store so on the mac you could just have all the libraries and documentations for various programs right on your mac in this app and it organizes it very well and now he's released an ios app that works both on the ipad and on the iphone uh, personally i think it's best on the ipad and it's only ten dollars nine dollars and ninety nine cents it only you know it takes up only four point one megabytes in size but basically, I think it's worth it because you can, you know, you can basically go and see all the different, you know, programming languages that are out there and decide which ones you want to download to your iPad and have it right there. So I bought it. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been, you know, over the years I've been trying to learn to program and I can do a little bit of programming in here and there. But I like to have this resource because I think it, it's going to be very handy. So if I'm at a Macintosh and programming or even a Windows computer, and I can put the library of, of the languages and the documentation on my iPad and quickly search, find the terms, find the functions, find, you know, the language um, documentation and just have it handy. So let's take a look at what it looks like on the iPad. So this is what Dash looks like. Here's the icon. It's like a D. And uh, Dash is pretty minimal, but it's very cool. So. I added some libraries from different um, languages of computer languages, Python 3, PhoneGap, iOS 8, and Swift. Uh, you know, but if you want to add more, you you go to settings up on the left, and you you have a wide variety of libraries that you can choose from and download. And if you don't have it on your device, there's like a little cloud. So, for example, if I want to if I wanted to pick Android and I clicked that, it would show me there's like 292 megabytes that's going to be downloaded. But I'm going to click on that to stop it, and it's not going to download it. But you can see there's just an enormous amount of libraries here. There's C, there's C++. If I downloaded C, it would be, um, wow, 24 megabytes, not that big. But it's uh, it's very comprehensive. It has... An enormous, enormous amount of um, of um, you know libraries that you can choose from Java, all flav all sorts of flavors of Java, jQuery, uh, Lua. Uh, I mean, this is really an incredible resource. If you look, even if you're starting off in programming and you just want to have a resource next to you, because the beauty is, you know, you could be at a computer and then have your iPad open and then just search anything you wanted. I mean, it's got Ruby, Ruby on Rails, Seneca Touch. Uh, so it's got just a wide variety of, um, of libraries to choose from. So, so let's, let's take a look. So like, let's say I wanted to like focus on Swift, Apple's new um, library for programming and language. Well, what you have on the left, it's very sort of minimal. You've got, you can search. So if I want to, um, you know, if I want to search functions, I'm going to write function, functions, and, um, well, I guess functions is a category. So, uh, well, here, you know, like if you, you've got these different categories of the language types, protocols, methods, functions, variables, constants, operators, uh, uh, aliases, sections, and you go in there and there's just, you know, it's a, it's a really, you know, wide variety of, um, you know, of um, sort of dictionary on the language. And and um, like here I clicked on, let's say, a protocol called collection type. And it gives you right here, uh, you know, what the protocol is. Uh, and it describes it a multi-pass sequence with addressable positions. And then over here, if you click on the top right, it's organized, um, the, you know, the, um, the, the collection type. And, and you can sort of look around in, into it and do searches. Um, 
let's see, operators. You know, these are all the different operators that you can use. And, and Swift tells you what they are. Uh, let's see, here's one. This is um, you know, the greater than sign. So let's take a look at um, Python. Python, this is the latest version of Python. You've got all your classes. You know, it's very, it's very, um, it's very rich in content. So basically, it grabs it, for, I guess, from different parts of the internet where these libraries are, and just you can, you know, just put it on your iPad. So, and if you want to, you know, if you want to um, delete it, like I could just press edit, and then, um, you know, I can, um, I guess, if I if I swipe. Well, if I um, I can I can change the order. If I swipe, let's see. Huh, not sure how you delete. Oh, there! Just by checking it off, I was able to delete it. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna download uh, iOS. Let's see, iOS eight point one, and. Um, well, that's the delete, but I'm going to re-download it. There we go. Uh, it's 461 megabytes. Now, notice when I search for iOS, I also get these other languages that work on iOS, uh, the, the sort of Windows languages of Mono and Xamarin. So there it goes. It's downloading, and uh, I should get that let's go back to uh, settings let's go to Swift I'm going to delete it and then download again Swift which is a smaller language and Ruby let's get Ruby I've got the different I'm sorry, not Ruby. Python, Easter, Python. And I'm re downloading it. And there you have them. So I guess for edit, if you you can you can change the order of stuff. But look, I think this is a great resource because um, you can just you know have this sort of dictionary right next to you, uh, and this you know the, the entire library and definitions for these different languages. So if you're coding or trying to learn coding, it's it's just a great resource just to have all the documentation on your iPad and um, look I think it's worth ten dollars because for essentially ten dollars you're getting the entire library of pretty much every programming language that's out there so it's it's a uh, very impressive so overall I would recommend purchasing this app I think it's very helpful if you're a developer and want to have the resources of the library of the language that you're using or even if you're a beginner developer and just want to have that resource handy on your iPad or iPhone as you're working on uh, developing on your computer, whether it's a PC or Mac. What's amazing about this uh, app is that really it has access to so many different languages and so much of the documentation of all the languages. It's really good for anybody, a professional or a beginner. So check it out. Only $10.